Hi beautiful people. As the title implies, it is true, your girl is pregnant. For this video, I'm gonna get into all the details, how far along I am, is it a boy or a girl, who on earth is the baby's dad, and how on earth did this happen. So stay tuned. But before we get started, please like and subscribe. Subscribing actually makes a huge difference for YouTubers and we're almost at that 50,000 milestone. So please subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, it would mean so much to me for you to join the God is Grey community. And also, now that I'm pregnant, I actually lost my modeling jobs, which were my bread and butter. I'm obviously looking for different kinds of work, I would love to do some pregnancy modeling, but in the meantime, your support of this channel would mean so much to me. So if any of you feel inspired by God is Grey, even a dollar, five dollars a month, it would really be a game changer for me. Patreon.com slash God is Grey. And the last thing I'd like to say is that we've got an amazing amazing podcast today. I spoke to my friend Astasia Christensen when I was in Oregon and we talked about how to educate your kids on sex. In the podcast she walks us through what is appropriate to tell a four-year-old. What does a conversation look like with an 11-year-old? How do you maintain communication, camaraderie, and respect when it comes to raising children? And sex is a huge component of life. She's constantly in the process of learning and I loved our conversation so please check it out. Just search the God is Great podcast on Apple, Google, Spotify, and more. So I am pregnant. I am five months along with four months to go. I'm gonna try to show you guys. I hear Brenda's got a baby. So let's start with my reaction. To be transparent with you guys, I've been in a relationship for over two years, but now in retrospect, when I look at it, I realize I never wanted to label it or make it official or call him my boyfriend because I've been so hurt by men in the past. I've been cheated on, I've been mistreated, so I realized that just kind of keeping someone at arm's length and being like, you're my best friend, we are romantic, but that's it, felt more comfortable and safe than opening myself up to the vulnerability of saying, I am with someone, this is my partner. We were just best friends without a label. So two years are going by, we are in love with each other, we've professed our love, we have an amazing relationship, and finally it was getting to the point where we were like, should we be together for real? While we were in the process of deciding, I woke up one morning, these were sore, and my period was late. I do want to make a whole video about this because I am committed to sex education. I want you guys to understand how I was taken by surprise, how you can avoid that if you are not ready to have a child. But for me, I woke up, I took a pregnancy test, and I put it aside. I was like, that can't actually be what's happening. I completely forget about it. I'm doing my makeup in the mirror, and I look down, and the plus side is on it. My immediate reaction was to burst into tears. Like I said, I wasn't in a committed relationship. I had no idea how my partner would react, and I did not feel ready for this. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I had anxiety about telling you guys. I feel that I've been transparent about the fact that I am sexually active and I have peace about that, but I knew I never shared my relationship with you guys and you really didn't know about my romantic life. So I was like, is this gonna catch them by surprise? Like, what are they gonna say? Are you guys gonna ditch me? Are you gonna call me a Jezebel? Am I gonna get attacked? Or am I gonna get embraced by this community? Which I'm about to find out when I post this video. I'm over here praying that my sub count goes up and not down. So the first thing I do is call my best friend Haven. We're on the phone, I'm sobbing, and I'm saying, no, no, and she's going, yes, yes, this is good, this is beautiful. The reason I was sobbing came down to money and my relationship. And I have to admit, as much as I'm in support of different kinds of relationships and dynamics, this is why people encourage you to be married before having sex. It's because if you do not have a stable, steady dynamic and you are still being sexually active, you are running the risk of getting pregnant and being in a sticky situation. Besides abstinence, there is no birth control that is 100% guaranteed. So this was a moment that I had to face the music of my decision. I'm a very independent person, so immediately my wheels start spinning. I'm thinking, if he doesn't want to be a part of it, how am I going to support this child on my own? But thank God, this man and I truly love each other. He's a wonderful person and when I came to him with the news, even though it was a huge shock, he stepped up his game and we decided, okay, 
saying we're together together and we are going to raise this child. Being in a relationship for real for real has brought up a lot of issues for me and I'm working through them while simultaneously being so hormonal. I've been crying at the drop of a hat. My sink was overflowing the other day and I just burst into tears. Show me the part! I was like, who is this person? <laughs> And again, I was worried about what you guys would think if the God is Great community would support me through this crazy, beautiful life change. And with that, I have to point out how wild it is that becoming pregnant could be, in the Christian community, an immediate source of shame and fear. I didn't feel shame, but yes, I felt fear about how some people in the religious community would react to this news. Would people call me a Jezebel? Would they accuse me of not being a real Christian? My heart goes out to any of you who have experienced that sort of judgment in such a beautiful time. Being pregnant is so divine and so incredible. I felt this person kicking inside of of me. I've heard their heartbeats. It's just such a beautiful thing, such a time for celebration. As for the question, am I getting married right now? The answer is no. This is actually something I take very seriously. If and when I do that, I'm gonna do it because I mean it. Not because outside people are telling me that I should fear hell or condemnation and that I need to run down the aisle and amend this sin before it's too late. For me, I am not lacking in peace. I do not feel separate from God just because I am not ready to make that earnest vow. I'm not going to take on any shame for that. As for the gender reveal, it is da -da -da -da, a boy. And we've got a name picked out that I'll be sharing with you guys later. If you want to see my love and follow this pregnancy journey with me, please go follow at God is Gray on Instagram. And as far as God is Gray and the topics we're going to cover, I'm not going to be obsessed with just this. We're still going to address all the questions questions on your mind. I have wonderful interviews coming up with different amazing people like Sarah Bessie, Jamie Lee Finch. So don't worry, I'm not going to abandon you guys in the process. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have additional thoughts or questions, please let me know. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, donate to my Patreon or Venmo if you can. I love you guys. God bless.